Howdy. Come on in. What's good? My name is Jake from the band Aether Realm. This is my dude Donnie, also from the band Aether Realm. And we're out here with Digital Tour Bus to give you a view of what it's like on the inside of a digital tour bus. So, um, we're out here on the Battle Ballads Tour. That's uh, Tears' new album that they're promoting. And it's Uts, it's uh, Trollfest, it's Dread Crew of Oddwood, and the shows are insane. Dread Crew, of course, is like kicking it up pirate style. Trollfest gets a Congo line going up and down the stairs in the venue. I've seen it go across the stage. It's unbelievable. I ex fully expect one day that the crowd just Congo lines out and they're never seen again. Uh, and then, of course, Tear is just playing anthem after anthem of hammer, sword, and axe related anthems. <laughs> so, the driving area. Here it is in all of its glory with snacks and a variety of other things. Uh, our bud George, George Isnitsky, who's a former member of the band, uh, is doing our driving for us on this tour. He is helping us out in a big way, getting us to where we're going safely and efficiently, and all of the other driving teams on the tour want to hire him now. We're not letting them, we're keeping them to ourselves. That's If you see this, uh, Eddie or Anton, that's for you too. Don't take George from us. It's the last <laughs> thing we have. Um, but yeah, George does it all. He goes to sleep during the day. He's going to be going to sleep probably here in an uh, hour or two. And then uh, we kick the drive overnight, and uh, we all get to sleep like a couple of little sweet little babies. Kind of levitate above the bed a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's kind of a dull, you, know, you can, can keep a consistent like uh, three inches above the mattress at any given time. <laughs> you learn to love it. All right, so up here, as you can see, is a mess of blankets. And that's because it's cold as shit right now, and the furnace only runs for two hours at a time. Uh, so we've got to bundle up to stay warm. Donnie and I sleep head to feet up here only because I sometimes like to read while uh, I'm going to bed and that's where the light is. Donnie prefers the steam deck as his wind down tool. Um, yeah, yeah. so I, I have um, my steam deck with me on tour and I have a switch with me on tour. On the switch I'll play like Pokemon and shit like that. Uh, on the Steam Deck, I play. Uh, lately, I'm actually playing Final Fantasy VII Remake because I never oh, actually yeah. finished it. Uh, but I have a couple other like little indie games like that. Sea of Stars, I play on here also. It's a really good game, um, which Jake actually helped do. Whoa, the, uh, the hey! Music for, and also sea of Stars shout for. out. So yeah, Sabotage Studios and Eric Jake. W. Brown shout out. Yeah. Uh, Mitsuda shout out. Yeah. Reese Miller also on this tour. Yeah. Also did the, the, did a lot of the pirate music in that game. Shout out to him as well. And uh, any kind of Dark Souls type game, anything like that. It's like stuff I'm into. So. All right. So uh, next we have the couch bed. It does pull out. Sometimes it doesn't get pulled out uh, because you're too tired to do it and you just sleep like it is. Um, usually we have the incomparable Bria Batrice running the merch game for us. She has gone. She's running merch for Eric. Eric Johnson yeah. on his tour uh, for four days and then she comes back to us. So in the meantime, we have Mar Moran and running merch. Uh, this tour hat right here, this anti-slip mat, I believe that this is a Bria Batrice special. No, uh-uh. This is a Donnie special? So, yeah, this is my idea. Oh, this man, I never idea. knew. But the, but it's but I can't take credit for being the first person Who to come up with this because I noticed that we had it uh, when we were in uh, Scandinavia. With Mateus? Yeah, Mateus had oh. this on the table, and I realized how good it was. And I was like, so when we went on our Walmart run before we stocked the whole uh, RV up and stuff like that, I was like, I need to get some of this. Bria cut it up like this for me, though. Okay, so all right. right. See, yeah. I, knew she, I, I knew I saw her hand in this yeah. somehow. Mateus from, uh, from Chaos Touring. Yeah. Shout out. He drove us on our last Europe run, and he is the originator of the hack. Sometimes it's a Uno <coughs> table to play Uno on. Sometimes uh, Age of Empires. Yeah, sometimes I cook up Age of Empires 4 up here. Sometimes we're uh, cooking the numbers, cooking the books as, <laughs> as it is, as it were. Um, you know, it's, uh, we can get, we usually have like three people. Usually there's a bunch of stuff piled up in one corner. Uh, but I, you can I get a cereal here. In yeah, morning. cereal zone. You know, if I'm just grabbing like a banana or something, you just, you know. Right, right here. You just grab one. All right, so over here in the snack and kitchen zone, this is definitely the hand of Bria uh, at work. But we've got a lot of just snack type foods that you know 
it's not always consistent whether you're going to find a meal any given night, late at night, or you know, even if there's nothing near the venue, sometimes it's a struggle during the day. So we keep it stocked. As you can see, we got some. Uh, oh, that's you. You're Don Juan, yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, oh, we got some uh, yeah, cinnamon toast some crunch. Cinnamon toast crunch. We've got the snack zone, the melange, as it were. If you see Dune Two, you know what that's all about. Uh, these are Canadian chips, so I think we have some ketchup flavored guys left over from that. You Americans don't know what you're missing. Um, here we have what appears to be my toiletry bag with uh, some stuff in it, just left out like a slob. I can't believe anyone would live like that. Spruce beer. Uh, spruce beer, another Canadian special. It tastes like Christmas is the best way I can describe it. Um, got a microwave, but you got to have the generator running if you want to warm anything up. So what I do is I call for everyone to plug their phones and computers in and then yell that we're starting the generator and we run it for like half an hour at most because we're trying to keep those generator hours down they charge you for them at the end don't let them get you um, we have the bag of perpetual fullness uh, I have taken this bag and thrown it away many times but it keeps coming back I don't understand how or why but I have just learned to live with it old baggy we are stocked up in the fridge we got um, looks like possibly someone's leftover uh, Indian food we have some uh, spinach, some baby carrots, uh, a couple waters, several energy drinks. This stuff uh, I bought with the express intention of selling it at the merch table, but then somebody opened it and ate it. So now it is with us for the remainder of the tour. Um, yeah, some sandwich stuff, you know, uh, some oat milk for the cereal in the morning. We try to keep it relatively socked, but. It's usually someone else's work, if I'm going to be honest. Bria or Donnie or Heinrich, they'd be loading this bad boy up. I'm taking the water because I'm talking a lot. I don't think we have anything. Oh, wait. I do think we have something in the fridge. This guy. Let's put him back. Right. And here we've got our bathroom. This is where we piss um, and only piss. If you shit in here, you are off the tour. Like, get out. Um, we've got, oh, it's like first aid kit, hand sanitizer, that's neat. Uh, we've got laundry stuff. Oh, gain, I haven't seen that before. Paper towels, yeah, those are definitely paper towels. And, sure. And that's, Super neat bathroom. This is our shower. Um, that is our shower trash bag. It is currently storage, as most showers are on tour. Uh, let's see if I can fit in this. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Oh no. All right, next we're gonna show you the back room. Uh, we're gonna have to switch again so I can show you it though. All right, so. Back here we've got uh, Heinrich and Andrew. Andrew's filling in on drums for this tour. Usually we got Tyler, but we miss him. He's not here. Andrew's doing a great job. Uh, if you need a drummer, Andrew Ramirez is the guy. Um, they hang out back here. Heinrich sometimes like just fits his head in this little gap right here, and then that kind of prevents him from rattling too much as George is speeding down the highway at 100 miles an hour. It seems like we got a sprout here. I don't know if you've ever been sprouted before, but uh, it's quite... The experience all right so um we're out here on this tour we haven't put out an album in a while probably because we've been non-stop touring we've been out with avatar in uh, Europe for about a month earlier this year and now we're out here with tear um, and uh, I'm ready to go home work on a little music so that's what I'm doing after this we did just put out a new single featuring Bjorn Strid of the band soil work uh, called should I you can listen to it wherever you get your music uh, legally I hope um, you can find us you know everywhere you find stuff Instagram Facebook or Aether Realm that's gonna be Instagram dot com slash Aether dot realm or something like that at Aether dot realm there it is I remembered the format so you don't have to now get out of here I have a show to play <laughs>